Hello everyone, welcome to my trivia channel from here in beautiful Yorktown, Virginia. It's really sweltering hot actually. And uh, my name is John Hamilton, I'm a freelance writer. Um, my miscellaneous articles, sports pieces, and humorous history quizzes appear on, appeared in a local weekly newspaper here for the past five years. But I'm deaf in my right ear, and I've been that way, I'm 57. I've been that way since I was five, and I had the mumps on both sides of my face, and I, I went nerve deaf. People always say, you mean the measles, right? Because evidently that's usually the cause, but no, it's the mumps. And my mom used to show me the picture. I'm like, oh, thanks, mom. But, uh, <laughs> but anyway, but what is it like? Yeah, I'm, this is a script. I'm just going to talk for a little bit and, and say what it's like being deaf in one ear. Because there's a lot of challenges to it, and I'll, I'll go over them. And stay tuned, because there are a few good things. You think, well, how can there be good things? But you learn to make lemons out of lemonade, right? So I'll give you some, later on, I'll give you some good points about going deaf in one ear as well. So, but point number one about being deaf in one ear is nobody cares. You know, it's, it's like when you, it's a big, big deal, but nobody realizes that. You know, you, and here's what will happen. I'll say, well, yeah, I'm, by the way, I'm deaf in one ear. And, and they don't say anything out loud, but you can see the wheels spinning in their head and they're thinking, well, what's the big deal? He's got another ear, right? He's got two ears. They would never say that about somebody's eye. If somebody was blind in one eye, they'd go, oh my gosh, how sad he's blind in one eye. But being deaf in one ear is a big deal. We'll go over that. But really, if you're deaf in one ear, you're down 50%. If you're blind in one eye, you can still see an over about 70%. I'm not saying it's worse than being blind in one eye, but it's not good. You know, to, so anyway, that's, that's number one. Is people just they kind of shrug their shoulders. and So there's, you get no sympathy. The only people you get sympathy from or empathy are from other people who are deaf in one ear. Because people that are completely deaf also can't relate to you either. So you can't relate to people that are completely deaf or people that have too good hearing. So my recommendation is definitely get to know as many people that have the same thing as you. Rob Lowe and Brian Wilson, by the way. Yeah, two pretty talented guys, right? So now, point number two about being deaf in one ear it is really dangerous, okay? Because you can't tell where sound's coming from, okay? And um, I'm not going to go into the scientific reason for that, but the reason it, it's something to do with there's a split second, second between the two from each ear, and your brain calculates where the sounds come from. But anyway, so I'm outside, and I, there's a big old pit bull out there running around chasing people. I don't know where he's come from, so I'm always, people always see me out in the yard, and I'm always doing this number. Because I have to. Same thing when I cross the street. You have to remember to, you know, I do the old, my mom used to tell me, look left, right, left. Because, you know, you forget about that. Noise is, and it's easier to get hit by a car, hit by a bicycle, you know. So, it, there's definitely danger from wild animals, vehicles, and also predators, you know, people, criminals, you know, if someone comes, sneaks up behind you with a gun or a knife, something like that. So, you know, if you're in a, more likely in a city situation. But, so, Definitely from a safety standpoint, you have to really look around a lot. And I always get that, which goes to um, point number three. I get accused of staring a lot. Uh, people are like, that guy stares, because I do. <laughs> yeah, I don't even realize I'm doing it. But if I'm, a, if I'm in a room, like somewhere to, you know, I don't know, bowling alley or something, we're just hanging out, I, I'll get, what are you doing staring? You know, I've actually had people get mad at me, want to fight me. <laughs> I'm like, dude. I, I'm just, you know, I'm just, you, you, I don't even bother explaining it. I just always oh, looking. But um, point number four is I talk loud, and I'm probably doing it right now. People are like, shh, shh, and especially on the phone, I do it. Hey, hey you don't have to shout, John, because you don't realize it, because it doesn't sound loud to me. Okay, so you don't really, um, you don't really notice that that fact that you're talking too loud so uh, but anyway um, point number five is that uh, the background noise if you're in a restaurant and I was a waiter in college I, I waited tables I was a bartender busboy the whole thing you know I did that through college and I really had to concentrate because background noise and then one's got loud talking and the music playing to top it off it's really, really hard. So any of you that are deaf in one ear, you know, boy, that's a tough thing to be in a in a crowded situation. A lot of a lot of people deaf in one ear, they give up and they just don't go out anymore. 
you know, which is kind of sad because, you know, you get away from being social. Of course, it's 2020, June of 2020, so right now people aren't really going out anyway. And I, I work at home, so I'm, and I don't, I'm working at home. I don't go out much anymore. I'm out of the dating scene and all that. So, uh, but uh, that background noise is something. Okay, now those are five major points. What are some of the positives? Well, positive number one, it forces you to be your own person. You know, you become. I'm more independent. I'm. A, I feel, in fact, I'm self-employed. You know, I became confident enough to become self-employed because you have to learn to to be independent with things like that instead of having to work for somebody else because you know you, you it's, it's hard to explain it but you just feel a little more confident because you've dealt with it for so long does that make sense so um, point number two a positive is my fo my focus with other senses is really good and, and also my left ear is really good like with music, boy, I can tell good music from bad music. And uh, I play the Wii Pit Pitch Perfect game. If, if you ever want to work on your pitch, it's called Wii Pitch Perfect. In fact, I had some of the world records on the Wii Records thing. I don't know if they're, they've probably been broken by now. But you can only get so high anyway, but I had seven of them. But it's called Wii Pitch Perfect. It's on the uh, Wii games. Wii, I can't remember which game it's on, but it's a fun game. You, there's Some examples are on YouTube. But... My pitch, my pitch is, I don't have a perfect pitch, but I have very good relative pitch. And, you know, I'm an amateur songwriter. And sense of smell, really good. Sense of touch, you know, just to notice different textures, you know. All your other senses are a lot better because anytime your, your one sense is down, they tend to pick up. And um, the third positive, I think, is I, it gives me a, a better perspective on life, life because I, I see the way people treat me poorly sometimes and so I, I try not to treat people poorly you know and I I try to be more empathetic to other people you see what I'm saying so if I know somebody who has who has special needs or uh, who has a handicap or anything like that that they're dealing with it in their life that um, they've had to overcome. I know mine isn't so bad, you know, I think, well, it's, you know, I can handle that. And I, I say, well, okay, I know they're dealing with something. So we all, we all in life have to deal with different things and life's not easy. But the best thing I say is, you know, like I said, make it lemons out of lemonade, just, just do your best with it. You know, just learn to do your best and find those people that, like I said, there's a lot of people that comment on these videos so you can Maybe go meet them, get to know them on Facebook or YouTube, social media, you know. I don't know. They could, somebody could even start a Facebook group, right? It, it's called single-sided deafness or unilateral deafness. Why not they have a Facebook group for everything else, right? So, But uh, anyway, that's it. I thought I'd just share a few instead of a trivia question here on this video. I thought I'd just share some thoughts on it. And uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, what I had to say. And we'll see you for the next video. Goodbye.